Hello BIM learners, this is Raj, welcome to BIM Modeler. In this video tutorial, we will be learning how to create a parametric chair family. This is the same family we used as a leg in previous tutorials and we will be creating it and we will be learning one important lessons from this tutorial which is without aligning a constraint, without aligning the geometry with the reference plane or locking it it will be automatically constrained with the reference plane how do we do that that's what we are going to learn it so do subscribe and let's start with the tutorial so let's start with the leg family previously started and create a new template as a furniture i hope everybody knows these things and set this category as furniture create the reference plane on all four sides for the chair length and width parameters make it as equal constraint and create the reference plane in the front view for the seat back side for the leg height create the constraint once it is done create the parameters for each sizes for the leg size you can create a parameter named leg height and it is back seat uh, rest resting height and the middle portion which is uh, we can keep it whatever the name you wanted the rest gap height I'm keeping it so the total chair height will be the sum of three parameters uh, which is total chair height we are going to apply a formula back height plus rest back gap height plus the leg height the total value will be given go to the floor plan and as in the chair length and width the video may be faster because I hope everybody knows these parameters load the leg family inside the project I mean the family still not yet saved yet so it is as family 2 place this based on the work plane and save the family which is parametric family and backup as one save edit type and you can see that there is a height family height parameter as in the leg height value and create similar place the leg four sides based on the work plane now you can align it each inside the leg positions wherever you need it then you can create a dimensional for the constraint for horizontal and vertical dimension for legs select all those dimensions and create a parameter as leg offset now all values are aligned as per the given offset value if you wanted to flex it go to the leg offset value and flex it and keep it as round of value as 50 you can go to 3d and check your leg now so we have four legs created we can hide these element for our chair seat making so we have to create a seat so you can see that uh, we need a, a, a sweep object I'm creating it sweep object you can create it as as per requirement of the geometry for this chair it requires a sweep object because the shape it is something like that I'm creating this sweep path and sweep profile here so this is a sweep path which is a arc, arc object so once the arc it is okay you can see that there is no constraint in the reference line so it's just an object I just place the uh, reference uh, arc object between the reference line you can check the arc object by changing the leg 
width so you can check that which is automatically flexes so we are not constraining anything by default it is constrained with the reference plane so this way we can do a uh, chair family as in complex shapes unless otherwise you make them mm, constrained with the other object otherwise it will not be disturbed so make sure that it is not constrained with any other object draw a profile family profile for the path i'm drawing a simple uh, yeah, a profile which is a bend uh, there is a, a bend or shape in both sides this is for exercise so i'm giving it as a faster uh, tutorials i'm speeding up the tutorial so you can create your uh, families i hope the sweep objects you will know you will be able to understand it so i'm creating this as faster now once it is done you can see that this is a shape we get you can check the object by moving it the reference plane or changing the height to reference value automatically it will be flexed go back and change the leg height value or chair width value and flex it it is working now we need to create an extrude which is for the uh, back seat so, so we need the shape with the arc and smooth create your profile using extrude so still i'm not constraining anything with the reference plane i'm just creating the object or i'm not aligning anything or locking anything to the object let's finish it and you can see that by moving the reference line automatic reference plane it automatically constrained with that unless you assign any constraint to the object you can see that the extrude which is created now we need the extrude back seat need to be somewhat sloped in an angle so for that reason i'm creating a reference line with the angle approximately any, any angles that you needed create the reference line so that i will be able to create a void extrude based on that reference plane reference line plane set the reference work plane i'm selecting the top portion of it and it will ask us to select the view i'm going to the floor plan now i will make a slice i'm going to use the extrude and make a cut in the object now i have a gap in between the object that's the seat thickness we are going to keep I want to keep it as an arc smooth arc so that it will be nice and smooth. Now you can see that you can ex extend the extrude. Now the seat it is looking nice. So we are learning the reference plane also with the angle also and the other side we are learning how to constrain without any parameters. So it's constrained with the reference line. Create and assign the material for seat cover and back seat rest and assign it and you can look through in the 3d leg height chair width make it as much as flexible if you are doing it one by one objects make it flexible and make sure that it works in all the parameters now we need to create a joining element by using the uh, object uh, sweep create the sweep path and as much as faster you can align it with the backrest and the bottom seat this is the path now you can create your own profile 
finish the path and create the profile i need two bars which goes along the chair finish it you will be able to understand how it is there is a gap between the rests so you can adjust the profile there are two profiles you can select it move it upwards now it matches exactly with the chair assign a material which is a steel material for this element and create a material to that steel material that's it the family looks nicer flex it all the objects whether it works or not it perfectly works still the uh, seat chat seat which is not looking nice so for that reason i'm creating an void extrude from the floor plan to cut the edges the corner i need a smooth corner on the edges so let's make a extrude then i need a smooth corner so create a uh, object with a rectangle with a fillet of 50 on the corners now if you make edges with the arcs it will be nice so i'm creating the approximate arc on the all the sides four sides finish it extrude will be created and it is not yet cut so make sure that it is aligning with the object and constrain it with the reference plane if it is required and use the cut tool under the modify and cut your object now if it sees that it is nice and good load into project and place it under the project that we already worked on in the chair family thank you so much for watching and subscribe to the beam modeler if you are not and like and share it with your learning friends see you